Um, good morning, it's Min here. Um, I'm doing an interview with uh, my wife, Shelley, who is one of the inaugural STAR uh, training faculty uh, for the STAR program with the Fly and Doctor Service of Queensland. And today we're just going to talk a bit about uh, uh, Shelley's background and what she teaches on the Essentials of Retrieval Medicine course. And just to give you an idea about what to expect when you uh, come to the course and attend this session. So, good morning, Shelley. Good morning. Can you tell uh, a little bit about yourself and um, how you've come to uh, be in, in RFDS and also the STAR course? Yeah. Look, my background is that of a rural GP, um, and I've got my diploma of obstetrics, and I used to practice rural procedural um, obstetrics, including normal deliveries, instrumental deliveries and, and caesareans. Uh, I've been with RFDS for seven years now and I'm the Deputy Senior Medical Officer in Cairns Base um, and so I now involve more in retrieval than obstetrics but um, I like to think that I have some expertise in retrieval obstetrics. Can you tell us a bit about that? Like what, what things have you done which, which you think are relevant for working in uh, obstetric retrieval and so forth? Well, I guess in retrieval obstetrics, you can come across pretty much any obstetric scenario, and I guess you know they can be pretty frightening at the best of time. Let alone when you're a long way from any good supports or or a good operating theatre. And so I guess um, it's good if people have a good understanding of the normal labour process and, and how to perform a normal delivery, but particularly um, I guess preterm labour and preterm delivery because that's the most common scenario um, seen in, in retrieval obstetrics would be the management of preterm labour. So how, you say it's common, how common is it? How common would you have to deal with this kind of obstetric cases requiring retrieval? Oh, you put me on the spot now, but I think uh, certainly obstetric retrievals are our third most common reason for retrieval okay. um, within far north Queensland. Alright, very good. And um, can you tell us about your own experiences during your RFDS time with, uh, you know, obstetric retrievals and anything that you, you remember that is significant? As in obstetric deliveries that I've done, I've, I've certainly I've delivered a uh, baby on the aircraft with the aircraft still on the tarmac. Okay. Um, and also been involved in, in deliveries at peripheral hospitals. Um, where it's been very stressful wanting to do a caesarean but not having the facilities to do a caesarean right. but uh, eventually in time, thankfully, this lady delivered. So is it very different to what doctors and nurses learn in, in their hospital training? Is it, is, it, is, it, is it the same thing, just in a different location? No, no not in the sense that uh, during your training you're usually working in a facility where you've always got an operating theatre and you can go to an operative delivery. Okay. Um, whereas I guess in this setting that's, that's the thing that we don't have is the ability to do an operative delivery so we need to be more careful uh, and alter our management plans with that in mind. Okay, good. All right, now, now you uh, are um, a training uh, instructor on the Essentials of Retrieval Medicine course, which is one of the uh, courses on the STAR program, the Specialised Training and Aeromedical Retrieval program that the Flying Doctor Service Queensland section runs. Can you tell us what you do on that course and, and in terms of the obstetric uh, training, what, what you do there? Yeah, look, we run on the third day, we run a workshop that will go for, goes for around two hours. Um, during that time, we use some simulation mannequins, and we go through normal delivery, uh, the factors that you need to be con you need to consider in a normal delivery, um, and discuss the management of preterm labour and breach deliveries because breach deliveries are more common in preterm women. Um, we also discuss things like management of postpartum hemorrhage because once again, that's a very frightening prospect uh, when you're away from an operating theatre and also go through uh, management of preeclampsia and eclampsia because I guess that's the other common reason for retrieval um, and neonatal resuscitation in case you are unlucky enough to have a baby in transport. Okay, so it sounds like you go through quite a few things there. Um, tell, tell us the feedback that you've had from, from uh, uh, past participants about that section. Oh look, we got fantastic feedback for, from the last session. I think because Majority of the participants in the course, obstetrics is not their strong field, 
and I think they they found it really helpful just to go through using the mannequins doing both deliver normal deliveries and and breach deliveries. People thought that was fantastic. It refreshed a lot of their training um, from many years ago, and people found that a really useful exercise. We were getting hugs and tears at the end of the session, and, okay. and it was fantastic. All right. So that sounds like people had had quite a positive experience. So tell me, what why do you think this subject, you know, obstetric retrieval, is important, and and um, why do you think it's important to teach this? Well, I guess. Traditionally, people going into retrieval medicine uh, are largely coming from an emergency medicine background and obstetrics is not something that's taught well um, in the critical care specialties. So it's, it's an area that is very frightening at the best of time for those with a good amount of training in it, um, but even more frightening for those who don't feel comfortable in the area, yet as I said before, it's it's the third most common reason for retrieval um, in Queensland. So it's something that you see on a very regular basis doing retrieval medicine and it's really quite frightening for those that aren't familiar with it. Okay. And um, just to finish off then, um, what, what would you recommend uh, for people considering the course or doing the essentials? What, what do you think that, um, that, that if they were wondering, what, what am I going to get out of this session? What, what would be your take-home messages? Oh, take home messages for obstetric retrievals or yeah. I, I think certainly the simulation is what people find really helpful, the simulation of the okay. deliveries um, and the actual performing the procedures and gives them that familiarity again mm-hmm. um, with something, most people have attended a birth somewhere during their training sure. um, but it's largely bringing back the obstetric principles with um, how to position a patient, how to resuscitate a patient, how to deliver the baby, what are the important aspects. Um, and really just, yeah, giving giving a good overview, good reminder of obstetrics. I guess the, the difficulty is with, with RFDS and the environment that I work in, I'm lucky enough to be flying routinely with midwives, um, and, the, and the midwives can be great support during, during these sorts of retrievals, but not all services across the country would use midwives um, in their retrieval services, so it can largely be up to the doctor um, to be in charge of, of the obstetric case. Okay, so that's important, so that a lot of services around there might not have a midwife trained practitioner or, or an obstetric trained practitioner, so, so retrieval doctors in particular need to have some basic idea. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Yep. yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much, and... Uh, yeah, check, you know, check out the session when you attend the Essentials course. Make sure you, you uh, come along and um, we'll uh, speak to you at another audio podcast.